Mouse Was Mad by Linda Urban, illustrated by Henry Cole. What do the words tell you about mouse? How can you tell from the pictures that Mouse is mad? In this story, Mouse is mad, but he's not sure what to do about it. What do you do when you are mad? Does that make you feel better or worse? Let's read this story to find out why Mouse is mad and what he does about it. Mouse was mad, hopping mad. You look ridiculous, said Hare. Mouse stopped hopping. Let me show you how to hop properly, said Hare, who was truly a hopping whiz. Mouse tried to hop like Hare, nothing doing. Mouse hop, hop, flopped, splish, into a mucky mud puddle. Why can't Mouse hop as well as Hare? How do you think he feels when he lands in the yucky mud, mucky mud puddle? Now Mouse was really mad, stomping mad. You call that stomping, said Bear. Mouse stopped stomping. Stomping, done right, should result in the shaking of trees and the rumbling of earth, said Bear. Bear stomped. The trees shook, the earth rumbled. Mouse tried to stomp like bear. The trees did not shake. The earth did not rumble. Mouse stomp, stomp, flomped, slush into another muddy puddle. Now Mouse was really, really mad, screaming mad. That's hardly a scream at all, said Bobcat. Mouse stopped screaming. When I scream, you can hear it echo through the woods. Bobcat screamed to prove his point. It echoed and echoed. What do you think Mouse will do next? Do you think he'll scream as loud as Bobcat? Why or why not? Mouse opened his mouth wide and let out the loudest scream he could manage. No echo. He tried arching his back like a bobcat, but lost his balance and fell, splosh, into yet another mucky mud puddle. Oh, poor Mouse. Now Mouse was really, really, really mad rolling around on the ground mad. Pull your feet in, said Hedgehog. Mouse stopped rolling. The best rolling is achieved when the body is a perfect sphere. Hedgehog tucked in his nose and his feet and his hands. He was a perfect sphere. Look at the shape of Hedgehog's body. What is another word for sphere? What do you think will happen next? Mouse tucked in his nose and his feet and his hands. He was not a perfect sphere, but he was close. 
He pulled in his tail and rolled around and around, sploosh, into the muckiest mud puddle of all. Now Mouse was really, 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 really mad. Standing still mad, Mouse did not hop. He did not stomp. He did not scream or roll on the ground. He stood very, very still. Impressive, said Hare. What control, said Bear. Are you breathing, asked Hedgehog. Mouse took a deep breath. He let his breath out. Bobcat heard air whistle through Mouse's nose, but he did not see Mouse move. Inspiring, said Bobcat. Bobcat stood very still. He breathed deep and tried not to move. Bobcat can hear the air whistling through Mouse's nose. Breathe through your nose and listen closely. What sounds do you hear? Why do you think Mouse is standing very, very still and breathing deep? Do you think this will make him feel better? Your ears twitched, said Hare. Let me try. But he could not keep his tail from wiggling. Bear tried, but when he breathed deep, trees moved and the ground shook a little. Hedgehog came closest, but even he could not keep his bristles from bristling. They stood together for a long time, breathing and trying to be still. And then Mouse realized he was no longer mad. Why is Mouse no longer mad? Any idea? I feel better now, said Mouse. You look better now, said Bear. But you need a bath, said Hedgehog. Good idea, said Mouse. Splash! Notice what is happening here. How does Mouse feel? How can you tell? Boys and girls today, I would like you to make yourself look as mad as you can make yourself look. Have someone at home take your picture of you looking mad and send it to me on Remind. I hope you're having a good day. I can't wait to see your pictures. Bye.